to. And it's all happening at the Gabba. Yep, that's all OK. You're on your way, Rory Burns. See you later. The old half volley at leg stump. Bowled him. Well, was that the Look this. That's the first thing, mate. The I don't think there's any swing, early. is there? Look, yeah, there's no swing. Yeah, it swings back late, I think. What? It just swings back. He just fell over, just looking to clip it off the pads. It will be from now on. <laughs> oh, edge and taken beautifully. Alex Carey gets his first Test match catch. Hazelwood, ruthless start in Australia, dominating here at the Gabba. Got to leave. You've got to make him bowl to you. Hazelwood will own you all day with that length. I reckon it was a little bit short. He just pushed at it. You have a good look here. Did he have to play at this? Yeah, look, he didn't have to play at that. It was too short. Crease. Edge and pouch by Warner at first slip. It is a first day duck for the England captain. Hazelwood, relentless. And Australia are pinning England to the floor. Talked about it before the first ball. He's the informed bowler, Josh Hazelwood. Look at that length, dragging forward. Nothing you can do about that. You've got to hope you play and miss or get a bit more wood on it. Good catch at Warner at first slip. The skipper's gone. England in all sorts of trouble at three for a... Edge taken! Labashane takes it and Cummins, the captain, gets the massive wicket of Ben Stokes. Paddy's first as the man in charge. Bell at the Gabba in his fifth test match here. So he's been full. Probably only seen two short balls in total. He gets people caught, doesn't he, Pat Cummins? Uh, another stat. Edge and taken at second slip at Steve Smith. Very safe hands, and the captain breaks through immediately in the second session. They're five down. There's that fuller length again from Pat Cummins. He, he played well enough, 25 from 75. He played in very tough conditions there. Unfortunately, he's gone just when the sun's come out in England, uh, five for six. A little bit of nibble, and he prizes out a key wicket of Joss Butler after a partnership worth 50. Yeah, excellent delivery. That was the one that Mitchell Stark's been searching for. Bowled a few wide half volleys have been punished by Butler, but on this occasion gets it right, gets that natural angle for the left-hander. It just nip, just slides across the right-hander. Joss Butler just gets a little bit of a tickle on it, and Carey does the rest. Australia needed that one. Even though it's only a six for 112, they needed that wicket. Butler was looking dangerous. He's gone for 39. And uh, it's very evenly poised. It's six for 100. Bishop, afternoon, everybody. England, six for 118. Sky ball, shouts of catch it. Man comes in. What a catch that is! Hazelwood dives. Green gets his very first test wicket. And the Australians are all over him. He just couldn't get a wicket against India. And suddenly Cameron Green is budding all rounder. Has his first. Cramped. Didn't get a lot on it. Hazelwood had to do some work to his left. Stayed low. Good hands. No elbow work. Out. Edge taken. Carey with another behind the stumps. And Paddy Cummins gets his third. And England now in all sorts. Was the money ball. It was at fifth stump line. He was slightly reluctant to get forward. The weight transfer was slow from Ollie Robinson. Cummins has taken the wicket. He's got four. Paddy, he knew immediately. What a start for the captain. Four for 36. Wide of the crease, straight at you, around the rib cage. Hit that through cover for four. And yeah. all he could do was fend it. He's a number 10. It was a really good delivery. Not in control. Hazelwood roams down there again. Takes another beauty. Hazelwood. What hands. And the skipper has taken five for against England for the very first time. And at this early stage, the captain can do no wrong. England rolled on the first day for 147.